We begin right now with some developing news. Health concerns at a local elementary school. A child has tested positive for tuberculosis in Wyndham. Good evening and thanks for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. It's a story we broke first this morning on alerts on the Channel 3 app. The disease is contagious and today we're learning what school officials are doing to make sure no one else gets infected. Channel 3's Jennifer Lee is live at Charles H. Barrow STEM School. And Jenna, apparently some students and, and staff will have to get tested, we're hearing. Yes, they will, Dennis. Anyone who came into close contact with this student who was infected with TB will have to follow up with a checkup. An action plan in place at Charles H. Barrow STEM School after a student gets sick with tuberculosis. Parents leaving school today are hoping their kids didn't get infected. I am not extremely concerned. You know, right now we're supposed to find out in a week what children may have been affected and just go from there. 570 students go to the K through 8 STEM Magnet School in North Windham, which means the kids are from all over the state. The district is working with the State Department of Public Health. In a letter to families, the school writes, we are taking this important health matter very seriously, although the risk of students or staff becoming infected is very minimal, according to the DPH. Today we stopped by DPH's office in Hartford. A national expert on TB says it's a bacteria that can spread, but it's not easy to catch. Tuberculosis is actually not that infectious, so we are not talking about measles. It requires being exposed to somebody who is sick for a prolonged period of time. Most healthy people who are exposed to somebody with tuberculosis will actually not be infected. A cough, weight loss, night sweats, and a fever are just some of the symptoms a person sick with TB can experience. Last year, we saw the lowest number of TB in the country and in Connecticut. Our state only saw about 50 cases. But health and school officials aren't taking chances. TB skin or blood tests are happening over the course of two days at the school at the end of May. It's just crazy to think that it could happen to like anyone, especially like a child. Next Thursday night, school officials and health officials are holding a forum to give information to people who are interested in learning more about TB and this case at the school in North Windham. We also are going to share with you in one hour what treatment looks like if a person is infected with TB. Reporting live in North Windham, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.